cares about inactions, indecisions. Um, sometimes we, you know, we we just kind of take ourselves out of the game, and and yet kind of either expect <laughs> um, expect credit or expect you know get some stats when we're pulling ourselves out of the game. Um, and I don't know. I just I just I think the third part is it's just so crucial because I think a lot of the time. We, we, a lot of we have a lot of inaction we have a lot of indecision in our lives and I'm just as guilty like I said I felt unqualified so I was taking myself out of the game just because I'm not qualified to even be in the game so but yet kind of still having those dreams and then putting those dreams off and, and putting those things off and and not pursuing those right so those inactions those indecisions they were still actions and decisions they were just negative they were just they were just poor decisions so I would say just have actions, right? Have the positive actions of pursuing your dreams. Have make positive decisions that are aligned with God. Pray like it depends on God because it does. But also, you got to put in some work as well, like it depends on you. That combines a prayer ethic and a work ethic that will launch you closer to your dreams. So I think, and I, that's what I really like about the whole. It sums it up is the prayer ethic and the work ethic, right? If you have both of those things and you're pursuing your dreams, right, that's just going to launch you that much closer. So a couple more points um, for this um, from that section is also is uh, gratitude is having a, more gratitude and more faith right and throwing this out here um, gratitude is thinking God after He does it faith is thinking God before He does it um, and that kind of reminds me of a few things um, I heard this from Rick Warren and I I, I really loved it and I shared it with my youth group uh, Rick Warren talked about chasing a whale in a rowboat. The whale is you know, like you know achieving our goals, and that you know being in the rowboat, right? We're pursuing after him, but it, you know a rowboat and, and a whale that's pretty tough. So you know faith is the actual part of you know getting in the rowboat and relying on God to help you catch the whale. But we need to have ultimate faith. We need to have tartar sauce faith, and that is packing the tartar sauce with you to go catch the whale, right? Meaning I I know God's gonna help me catch this whale. So we gotta have tartar sauce faith when we pursue our goals right we got to thank god before he does it we got to have ultimate faith we got to have that tartar sauce faith so when we're trying to pursue our goals pack the tartar sauce because we're going to expect god we're going to pray for the faith that god is going to do it before he does so um and then also second on the second part with that is god sometimes always doesn't call us to win sometimes he just calls us to try sometimes he just calls us for obedience which glorifies God. So that's another part of you're pursuing your goal. You know, for example, the book, right? Everyone's going to, like for me, I'm full on a thing. Like, of course I'm going to dream it's going to be published and it's going to be, you know, this bestseller and I'm going to be, you know, uh, shaking hands and kissing babies. That's what everyone would want to dream about when you're writing a book or a podcast or having a podcast, right? Is for it to be successful, not for this podcast. You know, maybe I'm shouting into the void and, you know, I could see people listen, but I'm, you know, <laughs> you know, I could just be just, as easily where no one's listened to it and you know so you could dream that you know you want it to be successful that's that's completely fine and but at the same time um sometimes he doesn't call us to win sometimes maybe maybe all this podcast is is just to help a couple people and maybe sometimes maybe the book is just meant to not to be published or get published and you know not um not ever be read by anybody same thing right sometimes he calls us to win Sometimes he calls us to try. Um, obedience, you know, that is the key part, right? Just, you got to do it. You got to try. You got to get out there. Whether you win or not, it's not the goal. Obe- obeying God, that's the goal. And then the final section, uh, which is labeled run to the roar, right, is, and this is extremely crucial. And and this is why I think the whole book, I've said probably extremely crucial like four times now. But I love the book so much, and I'm already kind of even tempted to do it a third time, which already be like the third or fourth time this year. I'm trying to remember when I read it. I know I, I've read it at least twice, and I keep quoting it and like kind of like re like rereading sections of it, um, and listening to sections of it, and kind of going back to other stuff. So I probably have like at least two point, you know, five or almost three times in terms of just like going back to it. Um, so. Maybe I just need to do another read through just to really have it in my in my system. But um, so it, the last section is run to the war, right? The day we stop dreaming is the day we start. The, yeah, the day we stop dreaming is the day we start dying. And also the inverse is true, right? The day we start dreaming is the day we actually start living, 
right? Run to the roar. Run towards the God-given dream. Just like I said last week, there's a lot of time where these, these drones and, and we just get through the system. We don't know what we want in life and we just try to be like everybody else and we're, we, we're done dreaming. Well, that's when we're dying, right? That's what the day we actually start dying is because we're not actually living. We're not actually living the way God wanted us to live. So start living. And I guess that's going to be my big thing for today is start living, start running to the roar, run towards the God-given dream that he's given you, start pursuing it. If your big passion is to be, you know what, change careers, maybe your big passion is to, maybe it's to lose weight, go to school, maybe it's, you know, what, start, you know, leave your job and and start a, a, a foundation or start a charity. Or maybe your dream is to get into the missions field or write a book. Whatever your dream is, pursue it, right? Pursue it and chase the roar. Run to the roar to that God-given dream. Your life is going to be more fulfilled chasing your God-given dream and, and having and pursuing that than it is going to be you know, the inaction, right? The indecision. So uh, the bigger the dreams that we have, right? The greater investment of time, the greater investment of our talents, the greater investment of the treasures it will take to accomplish that. Um, so, you know, in all honesty, God-sized dreams require more risk, more sacrifice, but in, and more faith. Um, you know, writing a book, kind of branching out into ministry even more and having, you know, trying to pursue that, um, you know, definitely feels like a risk, right? Definitely feels like I'm going to need some more faith because, again, I, I really have the unqualified voice in, in my head of and, and being attacked that way of you're not qualified. You know, so I'm going to have to, you know, definitely kind of get in and continue reading the Bible and continue praying and strengthening that muscle. But is sometimes it's going to feel a little unnerving, but we're going to feel more fulfilled at the end of the day pursuing those dreams. So I just really want you guys to pursue dreams. I know what it's done for me over the last nine months of pursuing my dreams and, and accomplishing some of those things. It's I feel, I feel more fulfilled just with, even with the podcast, right? Like having a podcast to kind of go to and 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 do um, has been amazing for my life, and I love I really love it. And 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 people re- and uh, um, there's a handful of people who reach out, and that just tick- tickles me to death. I just love it. Um, and I like helping people, and I feel like you know if my story can help people, um, you know, then then I'm kind of you know I, I know why I'm, I feel like I know why I went through all of that. Um, you know, if I can help just one person. And so that's my big thing. Pursue your God given dreams because you might end up helping somebody else. You know, there might, there might be, um, somebody out there who is struggling with the things that you struggled with. There's somebody out there who might, who might want to pursue their dreams. And then you pursuing your dreams kind of like, again, a dream within a dream, right? Like you're helping other people achieve their dreams. So I just, Go out there, pursue your dreams, find out what they are, you know, pray, search your soul, right? Like what, what's God calling you to do? And and then go out and do it. You know, Jesus didn't die to keep us safe. He died to make us dangerous. He died to make us chase the lion, right? And do what we're destined to do. And sometimes it is dangerous, right? It, it, kind of like what it said in the manifesto, the goal of life is not to arrive at death safely. You know, if you're called in the mission fields, there have been mission you missionaries who have been martyred, right? It, it happens, right? But when we're pursuing our goal and we're pursuing what our God-given goal is and living the way God called us and created us to be, it could be a little, you know, dangerous and stuff like, you know, and in, in, in that pursuit. But at the end of the day, you know, all the honor and glory to God. So um, that's really kind of my episode today. Uh, this book really impacted me and hopefully you could see that. Um, and, and I think this could book could at least start you on your path to chasing your goals and chasing your dreams. Um, so I'm always wanting to learn. I'm always wanting to read new books. Um, I'm always wanting to, I'm open to any suggestions. So I know I said, you know, reach out uh, about your thoughts of the episode. I would still really love you guys to reach out with your thoughts on the episode. I would also love you to give me some suggestions on some books that you've read that have either helped you, uh, with your transformation, helped you just with maybe, lock you know locking down some some bad habits or you know or you know locking you know getting out some bad habits or locking down some some goals whatever you know if you had a book that was really impactful for you please reach out and share that um and then um also you know share your thoughts on the episode and let me know um about your goals right like maybe if you're if you're going to start pursuing your goals let's you know let's kind of be invested in each other's dreams here obviously if you are listening to this you're kind of already invested into my dream so 
uh, help me be invested in your dreams as well and share those dreams. And if there's anything I could do to help you pursue those dreams, you know, I'll, I'll do that. So just reach out and share what your dream is, share your books, share your thoughts. Um, you know, my Instagram is rev underscore McMullen 94 and that's R E V underscore McMullen 94. I, um, and then that's on Instagram. So please reach out. Uh, have a wonderful week and chase the lion. God bless.